Um, so let's just go through the list. Another thing you can't say is that maybe January 6th, while appalling on one level, maybe it was not an insurrection. So let me let me talk about I've, I, haven't, I haven't talked about this much in the campaign. I'll be very honest with you. You want to know what caused January 6th? There's such a temptation to say that there's one man whose name is unspeakable. We well, can't, no, first of all, it's QAnon. Wait, wait it's QAnon. It's QAnon. <laughs> you want to know what caused January 6th? Is pervasive censorship in this country in the lead up to January 6th? You tell people in this country they cannot speak. That is when they scream. You tell people they cannot scream. That is when they tear things down. And so the reality is... We were told that you could not question where the virus came from when we all knew it came from a lab in Wuhan, which now they admit. We were told that you could not send a private message to someone on the eve of an election that Hunter Biden's laptop story was actually a true story worth considering before an election. You were systematically suppressed. So this is, think about this. You told you had to be locked down, had to take a vaccine that was mandated and forced down your throat, stay locked down in your home while Antifa and BLM roam and burn the streets of this country. So that's the lead up of one full year of telling people you have to shut up, sit down and do as you're told. And then you tell them, OK, there's an election where you didn't get the information that you needed, such as the Hunter Biden laptop story being real and suppressed. That's what caused January 6th is a cycle of censorship in this country. And until we look ourselves in the mirror and admit truth on that, we will not move forward as a country. And I think that's the real cause. And we're not. And I'm sorry to say this, Tucker, but I think until we reckon with that reality, I worry that that is the beginning of, it's a friendly parley compared to what's to come, unless we step up and speak truth, restore integrity, and actually lead us to who we are as a people, rather than sweeping the truth under the rug.